Good morning children. Today we shall learn about properties related to division of integers, specifically the associative property and the property of 0 and 1. Now let's try to divide 3 integers. Minus 16 divided by 4 divided by minus 2. Now are these two same? If we change the order, minus 16 divided by 4 divided by minus 2. In this, let's take the group of minus 16 and 4 and perform the division. We can do it the other way too. We can first take the group of 4 and minus 2 and perform the division first. Will these two result in the same number? Let us see. First, minus 16 divided by 4 and then divided by minus 2. Minus 16 divided by 4. We know 16 divided by 4 is 4 and a negative number divided by positive number gives a negative number as the answer. So the answer here would be minus 4. Then we divided by minus 2. We know 4 divided by 2 is 2 and when we are dividing one negative number by the other negative number the result is always a positive number. So here we get the answer as plus 2. Now let's take the another group which is 4 divided by minus 2 first and solve it. So minus 16 divided by we will solve 4 divided by minus 2. We know 4 divided by 2 is 2 and when we divide a positive number by a negative number the answer is a negative number. So we get here 4 divided by minus 2 as minus 2. So the problem gets reduced to minus 16 divided by minus 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8 and we know when we divide a negative number by another negative number the answer is always a positive number. So the answer here would be plus 8 or just 8. What do we see? When we change the grouping while performing division of 3 integers we saw the answer is not the same. Hence minus 16 divided by 4 then divided by minus 2 is not same as minus 16 divided by 4 divided by minus 2. Thus the result changes when the grouping is changed and this means the associative property does not hold true for division of integers. In the division of integers the result changes when the grouping is changed. Now let's divide by 1. 7 divided by 1 is 7 itself. Minus 4 divided by 1. We know when we divide a negative number by a positive number, the result is a negative number. And 4 divided by 1 is 4. So the answer here is minus 4. What do we see? The answer is always the same integer when we divide by 1. Let's see another example. Minus 8 divided by minus 1. What is it equal to? When a negative number is divided by another negative number, the answer is always positive integer. So here, we'll divide 8 by 1 and the answer is 8 and the positive sign added to it which means 8 only. So minus 8 divided by minus 1 is equal to 8. Another example 11 divided by minus 1. Here a positive number is divided by a negative number so the answer would be a negative number and 11 divided by 1 is 11. So here the answer becomes minus 11 after putting the negative sign. What do we see? 
when we divide any integer by minus 1 it does not give the same integer unlike 1 which gives the same integer now coming to the property of 0 0 divided by 2 is equal to what number let's divide 0 by 2 now two zeros are 0 0 minus 0 0 now let us see the property of 0 0 divided by 2 what is it equal to let's do the division to verify this 2 cut 0 divided by 2 we know 0 times 2 is equal to 0 so we'll divide by 0 0 then 0 minus 0 which is 0 hence we can say 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0 same way 0 divided by minus 5 which is a negative number is also equal to 0 so we see the answer is always 0 when we divide any integer by 0 excluding 0 so let us revise what we learned today first the associative property does not hold true for division of integers which means in the division of integers the result changes when the grouping is changed next we saw the property of 0 when 0 is divided by any integer other than 0 the result is always 0 hence 0 divided by 7 is equal to 0 next we saw the property of 1 any integer divided by 1 will always give the same integer as the answer and hence minus 7 divided by 1 is equal to minus 7 so that was all about properties related to division of integers bye bye children